Nickelodeon's got a new slate of stuff. Jesse, why don't you take this one away? You seem to be the, sure. the Nickelodeon guy. Dude, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the resident Nickelodeon guy. Yeah. All right, so uh, Nickelodeon upfronts were last week. Uh, they did it virtually this time because of the uh, ever-growing pandemic on our hands. So they announced a bunch of stuff. Some of it we already knew. Um, they got some new animated projects in the works that will air on Nickelodeon. I'm kind of going to gloss over like the stuff that's relevant to us, unless you want to know of the uh, Baby Shark creator's new show. You're dying to know that. It's called The Hamster Show, by the way. Hamster um, shark. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, they announced the voice cast for the uh, Rugrats reboot. And we already knew that the original OG voice actors were coming back to voice the actual babies. Mm -hmm. But all of the parents have been replaced, mm. um, even though most of them are alive. I think uh, Stu's voice actor is the only one that passed away. Oh, uh, Grandpa, mm. too. Mm -hmm. But everyone else was alive and kicking. I mean, um, uh, some of those actors even voiced multiple characters but mm -hmm. they completely just wanted a clean slate so every adult has a brand new voice so they announced uh those actors uh nobody big name like no will smith or nothing but they're there so it's gonna be a nice mix of old and new um i can't get over those 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 like yeah. graphics man it, it looks so weird it's just i don't know it's just something off-putting about it yeah i saw you post like, it looks like cool Facebook. it looks clean but it's just it it looks like a PlayStation game. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, we'll have to see. So there is a second SpongeBob spinoff uh, starring Patrick. It's mm. called The Patrick Star Show. So he's getting his own spinoff in addition to the one currently airing on Paramount+. Plus. I cool. have no idea how that's going to work. It's not um, going to. I know Patrick is popular. I mean, yeah. behind SpongeBob, he's probably the second most popular one. But usually, when you give a you know a second you know a second fiddle character their own series, it usually never works ever. Nope. So we will see about that. Uh, they are developing a show based on Big Nate. The uh, remember those old children's books that that kid? He kind of looks like Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. You ever read oh, those? Oh, you mean he was like a mean... Like the comic books on like the Washington yeah. Post. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. So that that uh, big Nate guy is getting his own uh, TV show on Nickelodeon. Yeah, so that might be cool. Uh, the Smurfs are getting a TV show reboot. Um, so this is going to be completely CGI. So none of that live action Neil Patrick Harris stuff. Okay. Um, the last movie was pretty good. The last one they did where it was all CG, mm -hmm. I feel like was better than the two live action ones. Yeah. But they're they're rebooting that again, so that's coming out soon. A new Star Trek uh, CGI show is coming to Nickelodeon. Uh, oh, actually, Paramount Plus. Okay, uh, that'll be cool. A new Transformers series kind of stands out to me. Uh, that is coming in 2022. Um, no info on that yet. I'm assuming it's going to be CGI because you know 2D is kind of dying right now. Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting to see because we haven't seen a Transformer show mm -hmm. in a couple years, right? Hasn't it? How long has it been since we had a Transformer um, like, show? The last, uh, the last one wasn't that long ago. Actually, I think it was like a year or two years ago. Oh, really? Um, Dude, yeah, I got, I got, I got to catch up on my Transformers lore. It is. And I then know, man, um, really we have a release date for the Seth Rogen uh, Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, um, just a generic release date of 2023. So that's a while away. Um, that's still weird. A Seth Rogen Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, his production company uh, is gonna be. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I mean, we you know, I'll trust it. I'll trust it. Um, we need a trailer. I'm I'm dying for more Ninja Turtle stuff, so I'll give it a chance. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it got to be better than Michael Bay. <laughs> um, and that's kind of it. Uh, you know, there's some little preschool shows sprinkled here and there, and some other stuff. Of course, but it's those Nick are kind of the. Yeah, those are kind of the biggest ones, you know, for us adult nerds that might interest us. Yeah. Um. So real quick, just uh, the line you said about the Patrick show, um, you know, that, that line is, is very true. Kevin even said it too. And any show made off of the comic relief character never is never good. Um, yeah, there was I, I the <laughs> Sheen from Jimmy Neutron. That was bad. Oh. To be honest, the the Minions movie I thought was okay, but like it just it it didn't get the same like the same feeling as you do when you watch Despicable Me. That's just me personally. 
um you know they're they're funny when they when they do their things but you can't make a whole movie on that it just it just doesn't work i feel like um so yeah, the Star Trek one I was actually a little interested in just because Star Trek isn't like the more recent Star Trek stuff is actually pretty cool. Um, I think it's just been like the update in the graphics with everything, the the update in the makeup and and stuff like that when it comes to like aliens. I think it's it's just becoming a, visually a, like a much better show. Yeah, um, I'm I'm kind of worried though that might be going the Star the Star Wars route because they now we're getting an influx of uh, uh so you think Star like Trek Clone stuff. Wars? You so, think like Clone Wars kind of You know, like are yeah. are we getting too much Star Trek now? Like are we going to, you know, cuz there's a couple already on Paramount. I mean, there's the Picard show which is really nice, but mm-hmm. the, they already had a 2D Star Trek show and then they have that other one uh see I'm not I'm not big on Star Trek, but they they have like four or five shows running right now in yep. addition to I don't know if they're rebooting the films or doing a sequel. That's kind of been in, in, in development. Um, but, I mean, are they putting out too much Star Trek now? Are they going to, you know, are people going to get bored of that like they do with Star Wars? I mean, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it'd be interesting, but Star Trek generally does better as a show. Um, uh, I feel like um, their movies are more so just like Easter, not Easter eggs, but like almost like fan service, but, but as far as shows go, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. Um, I think because of the whole concept of exploring the universe and, and boldly going where no man has gone before, I think does a lot better in TV format. So I don't, I don't think Star Trek and, and what is it? Uh, Picard and I think it's Star Trek discovery, or I think it's just called discovery. Those shows are doing pretty well as far as I've heard. Um, I've seen a couple episodes of Picard and it's nice. I just, I didn't need to catch up. Um, I haven't started watching Discovery, but I've heard good things about it. So I don't know. I mean, I think it's going to go well. Um, now, you said these shows are going to be appearing on both uh, Paramount Plus and Nickelodeon, the channel, right? Uh, they they specifically mention what will be on Paramount and what will be on Nickelodeon. Like the Rugrat show is exclusive to Paramount. Okay. I mean, it actually, it, 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 it seems like it's going to premiere on Paramount first mm. and then follow up on Nickelodeon later okay so i don't know how that's gonna work the patrick spinoff says it's only on nickelodeon Mm -hmm. uh the star trek show is only on paramount transformers is only on nickelodeon but then even here it says the 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 current spongebob spinoff the the camp corral is on paramount now but it's premiering this fall on nickelodeon so Mm. i i think they're double dipping a little bit depending on the audience probably and and the other thing too is like you know you guys can get paramount plus now so let's drive everyone to get Paramount Plus. Let's have this content for you to watch it there. And then when the show comes out, since you have, if you have cable anyways, you can watch it there on cable. So uh, I think it's, yeah, double tipping. It makes sense. I mean, you know, if you're a company that big, that's a good play, right? You're going to drive your sales to Paramount yeah, I mean, Plus. You're going to drive those subscriptions. Like if I didn't know about Paramount that Plus. you're content for the kids as well. Yeah, and I saw Rugrats on TV, and then they have an ad that's saying, oh, you could have watched this show six months ago, the whole thing. And I would have been like, whoa, sign me up. So that's probably what they're going to do. Like, air these shows, they're on Paramount first. They come to Nickelodeon a few months later. You have to wait, you know, uh, every week for a new episode. And then they slap an ad, hey, watch them all right now on Paramount Plus, and that's how you get your money. Yeah. 